With adding signed numbers, so when we add negatives as well as positives together, um, one way we could do this is to use the number line. So I'm going to do a couple that way first just to kind of visualize what's happening. Um, so a positive number or adding means we'd go to the right. Negative number means we'd go to the left. Um, and just note, sometimes we might see problems like this. We might see parentheses like around this negative 8. That's just trying to emphasize that it's a, neg a negative number. So um, like this, this bottom one, I could just rewrite that as negative 8 plus 5. That'd be the same. So for the first one, negative 2 plus negative 4. So we start on 0. And if I move to negative 2, I'm right here, and then I'm adding another negative 4, so I'm still going to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, I end up right here at negative 6. So I went negative 2 and then negative 4. So if it's negative 2 degrees out and then it drops 4 degrees, now it would be negative 6 degrees. So if you want to kind of think of a real situation. So negative six for that first one. Now the next one, so if I start at zero, start at zero and I go negative eight, so I'm going down to negative eight, so now I'm at negative eight, and then I go positive five, so one, two, three, four, five to the right, because now I'm adding five, so negative eight to the left, adding five means I'm gonna go to the right, I would end up at negative three. So notice, notice also, and we'll look at these with the other ones, when you're adding two numbers with the same sign, they're going in the same direction. So the digit's getting bigger and whatever that sign is, versus when we have different signs, one's negative, one's positive, it's like they're going to kind of backtrack, cancel each other out part of what we're, the, the way we're moving, and we should end up with whatever's the sign of the bigger digit. Like in this one, I went negative 8 and then positive 5. Since 8 is more, the answer is still going to be in the negative range. Okay, so let's, let's keep looking at that with a few. And we're not going to always write, write on a number line, but just if you want to visualize that in your head or jot it down, that helps sometimes. So negative 3 plus negative 6 is the next one. Oops. Negative 3 plus negative 6. So again, if you're even if you're just kind of visualizing, I'm going negative 3 and then negative 6. So I'm going both to the left. So this should be a negative 9. So 3 and 6 is 9. Keep it negative. Versus the next one, 17 and negative 20. Okay, so if I go positive 17 and then negative 20, I'm going, you know, kind of past the 0 again. So the difference is 3, and I'd be past 0 to the left of 0 in the negative range, so negative 3. So notice how I took the difference, 17 and 20, the difference is 3, and we keep the sign of the bigger digit. Okay, how about this one? Negative 1 plus 4, I'm going to rewrite it at the parentheses, I think always make it a little com more confusing. So negative 1 plus 4, so if here's 0, if I go negative 1 and then a positive 4, this should be a positive 3. So a difference of 1 and 4 is 3. 4 is a bigger digit, so it'll end up being positive, just like the 4 is positive. Okay, now the next one. Um, so negative 2 plus negative 5. Let's do that first. Negative 2 plus negative 5. That's negative 7 plus 7. Okay, so this one's a little different. So if I go negative 7 and then I add 7, well, I'm right back to 0. So if we have the same digit, different signs, and we add them, it's going to be 0. It's kind of like they'll cancel each other out. <laughs> if it was negative 7 degrees one day and then it increased by 7 degrees, we're back to 0 degrees. Okay, now let's kind of use those rules to think about the next one. 3.4 plus negative 5.7. Okay, so if I look at this, they're opposite signs, so I should take the difference of the two, and it should end up being negative. Okay, now if we're gonna do this by hand, and we're taking the difference, we should always do the bigger one minus the smaller one taking the difference, even though I know my answer is gonna end up being negative. So that would be 
2.3, so negative 2.3. Now on this one, I kind of intend more to do this, that you should do this one in your calculator. So if you haven't done any of these in your calculator yet, at this point, pull out your calculator, enter 3.4 plus. Now you cannot use the minus sign for a problem like this, okay? Usually the negative sign is right, you've got um, an equal enter, usually it's right next to there, and it usually looks like that with parentheses and then the negative inside of the parentheses. So you have to hit 3.4, use your plus sign, and then hit the negative button 5.7, and then enter. Okay, and try it, try it with any of the rest of them too, just to make sure you're comfortable using the negative button in your calculator. Okay, um, so the last adding one, we've got a fraction. This is a good review back to fractions. Okay, adding, we need a common denominator. So I'm gonna bring down the negative. Make a little more rooting here. Zoom in. Um, so bring down the negative. Common denominator 16. So the second fraction I could just bring down negative one fourth. So if I want to change fourths into sixteenths, I'm doing times four. So negative four sixteenths plus three sixteenths. So when I go straight across. Keep the 16 like normal. Just make sure you kind of look at the sign in front. So negative four plus three, negative four and a plus three. And if you want to kind of jot that down over the side, a negative four and a plus three, that's taking the difference because they have different signs and keeping the sign of the bigger one. So negative one sixteen. Okay. So that's adding, and this is just some notes about um, kind of what we were saying, that if you can think about the number line, or you can think, okay, if it's the same sign, add the, instead of absolute value, I'm going to say the digits, I'm kind of talking about how absolute value is just whatever the digit is, add the digits, keep the sign. If they're different signs, find the difference of the digits. and keep the sign of the bigger digit. Okay, so what, whatever makes sense to you. Okay, so now subtracting. Subtracting can be the exact same as adding if we do one thing first. We can change any subtraction to adding the opposite. So this one, negative two minus eight, and if you, if you kind of just look at it and you know, that's fine, but if you want to change this, you can think of it as we're combining a negative 2 plus a negative 8. So we're combining a negative 2 and a negative 8. So minus can be changed to plus negative anytime we want. So now, same sign. So I'm going to do 2 plus 8 is 10, and it should be a negative. Okay, now this one you could put in your calculator, negative 2 minus 8. Try it out. Now the next ones, here's where we really should change it. Anytime we have minus negative, so negative 6 minus negative is going to change to plus 3. Okay, so we change that minus to adding the opposite. So we're changing it to minus to a plus, and then whatever the number is changes from a negative to positive or positive to negative. Okay, or just think of it that 2 minus, minus negative turns into a plus. If you look at my camera, what I'm doing with my hands here, this minus negative becomes a plus sign. So negative 6 plus 3, different sign. So we'll take the difference of 6 and 3, which is 3. Keep the sign of the bigger digit. So since 6 is bigger, it'll be a negative 3. And then 4 minus 9. So 4, I'm going to change this to plus a negative 9. So difference is 5. 9 is bigger, so it'll be a negative 5. 4 minus 9, so that'd be negative 5. Okay, a couple more. Here, this one again. This These extra parentheses, if you come across that, like on the homework, doesn't matter. Negative 3 minus 7. So that's going to be a negative 10. And again, you could change this to plus negative 7. We're combining a negative 3 and a negative 7. Or 2 plus negative 15. 
So the difference, one's positive, one's negative, 15's bigger, so negative 13. Now this one for sure, change it to negative 4 minus negative 2 changes to plus. So negative 2, take the difference, the 4 is bigger, so negative 2 here, and if you can kind of just look at it and think about it, this is like the same sign, a negative 9 minus 2, that's going to be a negative 11, because that's like negative 9 plus negative 2. And then one more fraction one. Okay, so 1 ninth minus, we have to change 3 to 9. 3 times 3, 9. 2 times 3, 6. So 1 minus 6, or change this to plus negative 6. So a positive 1 and a negative 6 is negative 5. Keep 9 as my denominator.